Hi, welcome to this session on how to choose the best inventory management solution for your business or client. In this session, we will be discussing and comparing different solutions in NSAP for inventory management and their relative key features. The objective of this session is to help understanding the difference between SAP IM, WM, Lean WM, DWM and EWM. By the end of this session, you will get a fair idea of the different functionalities that each of these solutions offer. As we know that selecting and using a good inventory management solution is key to a lean supply chain. It is therefore important that before deciding the solution to be used, we understand the current and the future needs of the business and evaluate the options available. With this in mind, let us first understand the fundamental difference between SAP IM and WM, compare between various WM solutions. Hopefully, these points will help in selecting the right inventory management solution for your client or business. To start with, let us first understand the organization structure for IM. We can see on the screen the organizational structure for normal inventory managed storage location. The storage location is below the plant in hierarchy. All the materials is stored in the storage location. Let us see what are the key features of inventory management functionality. The most important feature is that IM is tightly integrated with other SAP modules like SAP MM, PP, SD, FICO. It has inventory management by quantity which means we can see real-time stock status by storage location. We are also able to see special stock for different processes like consignment, subcontracting, pipeline handling, sales order stock, etc. Entry and documentation of all material movements happen in real time. All the stock movements like goods receipts, issues and transfers are documented. Further continuing with the key features, it is possible to carry physical inventory at material level and perform inventory adjustments like write-on, write-off, scrapping, etc. When stock postings are done, the stock quantity and value are updated in real time. With organizations wanting to become more and more cost effective, improving the way inventory is managed is crucial to the success of an organization. Reducing delivery time to customer and minimizing cost of warehousing operations ultimately help to maximize company profits. The traditional inventory management solution has some of its own challenges. Let us see what are they. Following are some of the challenges with inventory management solution. We cannot assign incoming material to outbound demands. This causes multiple material handling and waste of time. There is no visibility of material location at bin level immediate update of inventory receipts and issues. That is, the system status of stock is updated even before the material is actually stored at the correct place. It is not possible to control the warehouse operations like monitoring or resource allocation to certain tasks, etc. Now let us understand Lean Warehouse Management System which is one step ahead of normal IM. When you don't want the elaborate warehouse management solution, but want to have transfer order functionality solely for processing goods receipts and goods issue, you can choose to opt for the lean warehouse solution. In terms of process and functionality, this is a scaled down version of the normal warehouse solution that allows you to store material in bins and pick deliveries with transfer orders. The lean warehouse allows to store material in bins as a normal warehouse but the system does not update the stock data at storage bin level using the quants. If you do not wish to update stocks in your fixed bin warehouse at a storage bin level, Lean WM provides you the option of using the advantages of a warehouse management through transfer order in the same way as a normal warehouse management solution. 
the lean warehouse system offers some advantages over the normal IM solution. We can use transfer orders to pick deliveries. The transfer orders can be split to distribute the workload between warehouse operators. The material is stored in bins. Pick quantity can be changed in a delivery even after a transfer order is created for that line item. As mentioned earlier, the Lean Warehouse is a scaled down version of the standard warehouse management solution in terms of process and functionality. Therefore, there are certain challenges that we see in Lean Warehouse. Materials can be stored in fixed bins only. No random bin storage is possible. The system does not update the stock data at storage bin level using the quants, which means inventory is managed at storage location level. Differences cannot be processed at Dublin level. Confirmation of transfer orders is not required. You can create a transfer order and use it as a pick list. After picking, simply do goods issue of the delivery. Although it is possible for you to manage warehouse inventories using the inventory management application component, the primary difference between managing stock in WM and in IM is that in IM, the system can only display the total stock of a material for a storage location. If a warehouse is small and easily manageable, then the use of IM may be sufficient to fulfill your needs. WM, on the other hand, offers the capability to manage stock quantities in each individual storage bin in a highly complex storing facility. This means that with WM, you can optimize the use of all the storage bins, mix pallets belonging to several owners in the randomly slotted warehouses, and know exactly where a particular material is located in the warehousing complex at all the times. Let us take a look at how the WM is linked to a plant. As we can see, the warehouse is linked to the plant via the storage location. The warehouse has its own organizational structure like the storage types, storage sections, bins, quants, etc. We won't be discussing them here in this session. Let us see some of the key features of WM. One of the most important key features of SAP Warehouse Management System is that it is very tightly integrated into SAP R3 system with other modules like MM, PP, SD and QM. It provides bin level tracking of material. It provides inventory management function with flexibility to choose between different inventory methods depending on the organization needs. It provides ability to have value added services. It has several inbuilt picking and put away strategies which could be used depending on the needs of the business. It has picking optimizing functionalities like two step picking and wave picking. Further, SAP Warehouse Management Solution has many different monitors for warehouse supervisors to be able to check the status of various warehouse operations in a complex warehouse. Some of the monitors are Warehouse Activity Monitor, RF Monitor, Task and Resource Monitor, Cross Docking Monitor and so on. We have functionalities like Cross Docking and Yard Management. We have seen that as compared to IM and Lean WM, SAP WM offers several benefits to business. Like better control of inventory, better control of information, reduced cycle time, better allocation of work to work forces to gain efficiency, increased picking and shipping accuracy with use of RF, and so on. After WM, now let us see another inventory management solution which is on the lines of WM solution. It is called the Decentralized Warehouse Management System or the DWMS. Let us now understand what is DWMS. In theory, SAP DWMS is described as a decentralized standalone system that is operated separately from a centralized operated ERP system. Functionality wise, it is the same as a standard warehouse but it is set up on a separate system. All the business processes are carried out in the ERP system, whereas a decentralized warehouse is responsible for the necessary processes of goods receipts, stock placement, stock removal, packing, warehouse operations like cycle counting, etc. 
Following are the key features of a decentralized warehouse system. The decentralized warehouse runs on a standalone system. Not all the enterprise structure is required in DWM. The trigger for DWM process is inbound delivery. As decentralized WMS is implemented for the distribution center scenario, it is typically located near to the marketplace. This warehouse is characterized by a high throughput and it must respond quickly to demand. The data transfer from ERP to DWMS is via IDOCS. So what are the advantages of a DWM system? When should we go or choose a DWM system? The only advantage offered by a decentralized warehouse management system is that owing to its being on a standalone system, it can handle high volumes of transactions with little or no downtime as compared to warehouse on the ERP system. All the other functionalities of a standard warehouse are available in DWM as well. And what are the disadvantages of a DWM system? The main disadvantage of DWM is that all the process initiation in warehouse is through inbound delivery via IDOCs. The IDOCs are distributed to the DWM system via distribution model. IDOCs can fail and thus update of stocks is delayed. Master data is required to be maintained in both the systems ERP and DWM. If the volumes of SAP transactions is not high, it is not justified to go for a DWM. DWM is slightly complex to set up than the standard SAP system. Let us now have a look at the features of another WMS system known as the Extended Warehouse Management System or the EWM system. SAP Extended Warehouse Management System, as the name suggests, is an advanced version of SAP Warehouse Management System. It is designed with the objective to provide SAP WM functionality with more flexibility to configure it in the system. This gives ability to accommodate different processes in between the standard WM put away and picking process. SAP EWM has a lot of new functionalities that are not seen in SAP WM. SAP Extended Warehouse Management System is designed to run as a decentralized system. Although it can be deployed in the ERP system, it, can, it is more commonly considered as an application in the SCM server landscape. SAP EWM offers many advantages due to its different design of process and functionalities. The main processing areas of EWM are inbound processing, storage and operations, and outbound processing. In addition to these three processes, there are general processes like resource and labor management, cross-docking, yard management, import-export of dangerous goods, compliance, and native technologies like RF, RFID, picked by voice, material flow system, etc. All these functionalities when grouped together as a warehousing solution gives immense ability and advantage over the standard warehouse management system. Some of the advantages of EWM are more flexibility than standard WM is to design the inbound and outbound processes, inventory and process transparency, optimization of warehouse planning and process execution, seamless integration of a technology, integration in the general logistics solution. SAP EWM is completely different in its design, functionality, and targeted application warehouse. It is designed for a very complex warehouse with high throughput volumes. By the virtue of its design, it is a bit complex system to implement and operate. I hope that by now you've got a good idea on the different SAP inventory management solutions. You can select the best fit solution for your business or client depending on the business current and the future requirements. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.